as the girls in red against the women in the Brazilian colors of the Pacific. They're known as the Brazilians of the Pacific. Solomon Islands, they make their way onto the pitch. Great conditions, great work been put in by the local organizing committee to ensure that this pitch in great condition for this one. Uh, it'll be great to see how they play out. If anything, uh, the match before these New Zealand and Fiji was a firecracker there in the first half. And we know how this uh, players team, they have good formation, they, play, they have great skills, and we'll definitely see good structured football. To wait for Chris Bennett to give us the go ahead as he waits for Wendy Turton, the coordinator. Four for two for Tahiti, and Solomons have resorted to a four, two, three, one, which is the good formation for many of the professional football sides. Tahiti, get us going. Again, that's not what you do when you got Tahiti in front of you giving away cheap possession. Tahiti will punish you when they get a chance now. Again, the Ladies in red trying to get something. It's not, as I said, just that final ball not working at the moment, but stepping out, Malfati, the skipper. Malfati still going. So it's great to see that now the Solomon Islands as well and identifying their players uh, who are abroad this time. They break. What can they create? The keeper punches it away. She had to head it back. She went straight for that header. Bridget Alele. The skipper taking it upon herself to deliver the first delivery into the area. Misheaded by the Solomon's attackers. Tahiti get it away. Uh, still trying to get it away. But Solomon's putting the pressure on the Tahitians. They get it back. Again, Solomon Islands with a chance. Open goal. Goal number one for the Solomon Islands. And that is what they'll do to you if you give them space, if you commit a mistake, and you give away the ball in the dangerous area. The Solomon Islands will punish you. And the celebrations tell you what a relief that is. Solomon Masi has been credited for that one. Solomon Islands take the lead. It's quite a few to aim at. Lifts it up, keeper comes out, misses it completely. Tahiti with a chance. They should have capitalized on that. They should have gone for the first time short. The goalkeeper again committing that blunder that is going to give his coach a massive headache and a heartache. In the meantime, Tahiti again. They get another chance. Another flick had a chance here for Tahiti. That should have been buried into the bottom corner of the net. As Tahiti will not want to end winless in this group because it all counts down and as we do that the referee says that's it thank you very much ladies for a good game this evening and that lone goal in the 50th minute Salome Masi's lone strike has given the Solomon Islands a much deserved victory in the opening match in this Group C encounter at the OFC and the 19 Women's Championship 2023. It has ended. Tahiti nil, Solomon Islands won.